this is one of my first sketchbooks from 2011. And you can see it's really simple drawings as I was figuring out the idea of how to draw things. And you know, they aren't perfect drawings at all. I've always liked to fill my books with tons of different writing, experimenting. You can see that there are things that are half done. But you know, the idea is that practice really will change what you do. So because I love sketching and I've grown with it over time, you can see how my sketches sort of change and get more complex, etc. I really need a good sketch bag so that I can take my sketchbook out and use it. Hey, I'm Julie Fay Fam Balzer, and today I'm going to be talking about the Darcy Beck sketch bag, what it is, how it works, whether it's worth the money, whether it's something that you need. So come on, let's check it out. And remember, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So here's the bag basically empty in this zipper pocket to make it stiff, right, is this clear piece of plastic. And that's how this drawing platform is created. And this is a elastic band that you're meant to put your watercolors underneath to hold. You can see that inside the bag, there are several things. So this actually Velcros right onto the strap just like this. And this allows you to put your pens, markers, water brush, whatever it is, right onto the strap that's on you. There are some additional pockets inside. There is also this expandable pocket here. You can see there's kind of like a net here and you just zip it up. And I think you're meant to put like a water bottle or something like that inside there. You can see there are a couple more net pockets. Um, there's another zipper here on the outside for you to store what you need. And there are some individual pen loops on the outside here of the bag. But the really cool part about it is the ability to, well, I guess I should mention, there's a pocket here too. And you can see there's a little advertisement for it. Now I did pay for this, so I have nothing to do with Darcy Beck and I just found it online and thought it was interesting. But this is the goal is you can set it up as you can see here, like a little table. And the way that that works is with this piece of plastic with the Velcro on it. So what you'll see is there are two spots of Velcro which coordinate with the spots of Velcro that are on here. And remember the piece of plastic isn't here. And so what happens is as you're wearing the bag, you now have a stable table here so that you can rest your book, have your watercolor palette, all that kind of stuff. So let me fill out my bag with all of my sketching goodies and show you how it works. Loading this bag with my stuff, I, I do have to say that it's probably because I'm a non-traditional sketcher and I keep a mixed media sketchbook. I had to actually put a pouch of pens inside because there just isn't enough. Otherwise, they'd all be rolling around loose inside. I mean, it's a small thing and it's actually not a big deal because if I wanted a lighter bag, I could just take out the extra pens that I use um, for that kind of stuff. But just FYI, it's very roomy. So let's strap her on. Oh, and the one other note that I wanted to mention before we strap her on is this pouch, when I was filling it, um, things do come out of here really easily. So it's definitely the kind of thing where I think I would put things in right, uh, I would, wouldn't put it onto the bag until I was about to sketch because I don't want to lose. These are my most used supplies, so I don't want to lose them. Okay, so here I am wearing the bag and I have my little pouch, which I'm just going to Velcro on. And it's very secure Velcro. So now you can see, because unless I'm gonna do a handstand, this is really easy for me to just reach in and grab whatever I need, if it's a pen, or I think I checked my, there you go, my water brush, whatever it is, right in here. So that makes it super easy. Um, okay, so the bag. So here it is, it doesn't feel that heavy. It does have a very long strap, which I was able to adjust to be shorter for me. I'm 5'8", but certainly I think it would work for somebody much taller because I don't have it on the longest setting at all. Um, okay, so here is the little plastic thing. And I'm gonna unbuckle the bag. Maybe I'm gonna unbuckle the bag. There you go. 
I'm gonna unbuckle the bag and I'm just gonna go ahead now and put the Velcro on here to make my platform. So I have my platform here and what's nice is that the zipper is still accessible to me from the inside here, right? So I can still get into my bag and I have a very big watercolor palette in here. This is a big honkin' one. So I can slide this under this elastic. This is probably a bigger watercolor palette than most people use. Hands-free now. So I have my hands free on this. You can see the platform is right here. I've got my nice big watercolor pal palette out. I do still have access to my mixing palette, though part of it is covered by the elastic band. I might be able to scooch this, there we go, a little bit further. So now I have access to most of my mixing palette and my watercolors. And the elastic band is actually holding this mixing palette into plate with this particular Sakura palette that I'm using. Then I have my sketchbook right here. And I can easily open it up and go ahead and paint and do whatever I want and essentially be very much without a table, very, you know, much more hands-free. If you want to raise the table up in any way, you just adjust where the Velcro is. So if I want it at a slightly higher angle, I just put it at a slightly different placement of the Velcro. The Velcro on the bottom, let's see if I can show you this, is these kind of like large squares so if I put it down here at the bottom, it's gonna be a higher angle, right? More sort of towards me. If I put it at the top of that Velcro square, it's gonna droop a little bit more. And that may be you have a smaller palette or you prefer it that way, whatever it is. So for me with this big honking palette, I definitely want it at the higher angle so it's a little bit more angled towards me, okay? But this is really nice because I feel like I can walk around, I can turn, even with my book in hand, it just makes it a lot easier. So this is the reason that it might be worth the big bucks to you or not, totally up to you. But the other thing that you can do, I will say, if you're a mixed media sketchbooker like I am, with lots of different pens and inks and markers and all kinds of stuff beyond just using watercolor or if you like to also do collage, it does give you a platform where you can do that kind of stuff too. So I'm going to change the angle of my platform, make it a little bit, a little bit lower. Okay, so let's say I wanna do some collage. No problem. I can take my sketchbook, strap it in so I'm hands-free, then if I have a pouch of collage material or something like that, I just grab that and my glue stick, and now I have two hands to do all my collage stuff without having to worry about it. Now, my book is kind of off to the side. One of the nice things about the bag is you can actually bring it so it's kind of resting on your stomach and then you're not tilting sort of towards it. You can see it still hangs really nicely. You still get the platform, and now it's right in the center of your body, so you can just look forward and go ahead and do whatever you want, whether it's collage, drawing, writing, etc., because you have this table essentially attached to you. I think it's pretty cool. It was a bit more expensive than I would have liked to pay for something like this, but I haven't ever seen anything out in the market that really does this. So I'm excited and I'm ready to use it. If you have a Darcy Beck bag, let me know what you think of it because I'd love to know if you like it, hate it, think it's worth the money, all that kind of stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you will check out my online classes at ballserdesigns.com. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's connect on Instagram. I'm Balzer Designs.